customers are challenged with improving process operations, control design, and operator performance without affecting the live operation. Emerson's Mimic Simulation software delivers dynamic simulation technology that allows process plans to address these operational issues and challenges. This two-part video series will demonstrate the basics of Mimic Simulation software including an overview and modeling. In this first video, we will introduce Mimic Simulation software. Mimic Simulation software's digital twin technology is comprised of two parts that provide a virtual copy of the facility the offline control system, and dynamic simulation with Mimic. The delivered product is a completely separate environment, but it looks, feels, and behaves like the real plant. The first part of the digital twin is the offline control system, the exact same operator graphics, alarms, and controls used in the online control system are copied into a control system simulator, such as Delta V Simulate. Operators are always interacting with a copy of the real system in the control room. Currently shown is the operator interface for a Delta V control system. As the operator interacts with the graphic, process values will change appropriately. Opening any faceplate to change set points or adjust manual control settings will elicit a response like that in the real system. Here, we will decrease the set point to 4 million barrels per day. When changing the set point for the feed flow controller to the distillation column, the control system will adjust the valve position based on the PID controller settings. Just like with the real system, the controller output is decreasing in an effort to match the process value to the new set point. Rather than coming from an actual flow transmitter, the indicated flow rate is modeled in MIMIC and responds to controller outputs just like the real plant. All operator and control system actions will impact the entire process model. In the example of decreased feed to the distillation column, the following will automatically occur. First, there will be a decreased level in the column sum until the level controller notices a change and responds accordingly. In this case, by decreasing outlet flow from the sump through the bottom's pump. A lower steam flow rate is required for a decreased feed flow resulting in a column temperature increase until the temperature controller is able to respond. Finally, a decrease in distillate flow rate will occur since there is less mass being supplied to the column. The process's response to a decrease in feed is not limited to the preceding examples, but is indicative of the fidelity of model and mimic. This gives the operator the ability to interact with a system that is indistinguishable from the real system without jeopardizing production. Using identical graphics and control logic is essential for a successful dynamic simulation system. Thank you for watching this introduction to Mimic Simulation software. This video series continues with videos on the basics of modeling and Mimic Simulation software. For more information on Mimic Simulation software, visit emerson.com slash mimic.